Progress isn't just about embracing change. It's about leading it. Together with Audi, we're excited to bring you some of the influencers driving progress in the game of soccer. So how has information derived from data and technology helped your performances over the years? It's helped me a lot. I mean, look, I'm a guy that used to get injured a ton, uh, and to fix it, we had to start tracking my load. When you're at the risk of injury, meaning your body's probably tired and it's not a good day for you to go out mm -hmm. and uh, do certain things. So in little ways like that, I think it's a big help for, for a lot of guys. And how has, or how have your teams used data and technology to evaluate performances? Um, I think, I would imagine scouting has improved with it, right? You're able to, to have a bigger database of players and kind of be able to see what you like. Look at the quality of the league right now and it speaks for itself that yeah. they're definitely using the tools at their disposal to, to sign better players. Sign better players. Know. All right, hold on, we got a call. Okay. Hello? Hey, this is Brett Myers calling. Hey, how are you, man? I'm, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Not bad. Just cruising around Toronto with Josie, who you know well. No kidding. I'm in Toronto, too. Are you? Yeah. Where are you at? Yeah, I'm over by the uh, Toronto practice field. You want to come on a ride with us? Oh, I'd love to. All right. We'll see you in a few. Brett Myers is a professional soccer analytics consultant charting new ways to analyze and improve the best players in Major League Soccer. Mr. Brett Myers, how are you, man? Good, how are you guys doing? Everything well? Yeah, doing doing great. So, Brett, we're talking a little bit about front office using, you know, the, the, the advances of data and analytics. You're obviously an expert yourself. What is the responsibility for someone like yourself to, to not only uh, provide uh, consultation, but also dumb it down for people to truly understand and, and make use of it? <laughs> With soccer, it's challenging because of how complex the game is, but I think that's what made it intriguing. I want to make sure that I'm doing the right kind of analysis and producing good information that's going to be helpful. Trying to, to, to use this information to make everyone's job easier, better, and putting people in the best position for, for success. What makes soccer so different in terms of its analytics than, than say, other sports? Well, if you, if you start with baseball, everything is just sort of chopped up in these discrete events. You know, you've got batter, pitcher, there's starts, stops. Soccer, it's continuous and it's flowing. You know, we're actually trying to try, trying to explain, you know, there could be 2,000 events that happen on the ball in a particular game um, and, and trying to uh, sort of understand how each action contributes to, to winning in that right. team. And not only just the actions on the ball, but the movement that goes on around the ball. It's not just about, you know, the individuals, but it's about how individuals connect within a a team framework. There's a lot of people that play fantasy sports that think because they play fantasy sports or they've won their league that they would know how to build a team or build a roster. I mean, clearly it has to be much more complex than that. Oh yeah, I mean, it's 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 one thing when you're you're managing a fantasy team and, and all you care about is is your team and and, and how many uh, points each individual is accumulating. Uh, building a real team, um, not only are you thinking about you know, just kind of pure performance stats in the field, but you're also thinking about personalities and, and you know, building a team, building a culture. What are some of the complexities in trying to measure data or, or I guess, digest data in a way that's, that's useful? Well, I think when you start looking at a uh, player's individual stats, you know, you, you start looking at uh, a player on one team versus a play, player on the another, you, you may have to sort of take a step back and, and say, well, what are the styles of each team? You know, think about how you know, players make each other better. You may not only think about what that individual himself is going to bring the team, but then how he's going to actually connect with the others on that team. So Brett, how does an analyst's work directly impact the results on the field or impact the, the, the team that's out on the field? When, when it comes to analytics, it's hard to, to prove a, a cause and effect. You know, an analyst is going to, to, to you know, use data, produce information, and he's going to feed it to different decision makers. There's a lot of places where it interacts, but ultimately it's what you do with that information that's going to make a difference. So tell me a little bit about how technology's allowed you to better understand players and their game. When I first started doing this work, it was a big deal to all of a sudden uh, be able to see data on every event that happens in the game. And now we're getting to a point where, you know, we're getting data from GPS units, we're getting data from camera tracking, and it's, you know, it's getting all the player positions in the game. So you, you may look at a you know, player's numbers from the game, and, you, and you, he didn't create any scoring chances, or he didn't, uh, he, you know, he didn't obviously didn't score a goal, but he could have done a lot of other things that happened in that game that would have led to um, the team having success. And then, I mean, can you enjoy it? Can you watch a game and enjoy it? Or is your brain always doing something different than 
than... I, I, I don't watch the games the same way, I'll, yeah. I'll admit. If anything, I've, I've gotten more passion. When it's a game where I'm invested in that team, there's a little more pressure right. because you feel like you want results because you, know, you're, you were a part of the process going in. Where do you see the league in five years, 10 years down the road? The, the technology is going to get better. The data is going to get better. There'll be more of a culture of, of using it and, and having it be part of the whole whole plan in the club. How much of the future of your career is hinging on Brett back here to get enough <laughs> numbers to let you play until you're 50? I don't know about 50, but I know that when you open your mind to, to new ideas as time you know, goes on, I think it can only help you. It's something like what he provides is something that I hope will cut off more days and stop bigger injuries from happening. Cool. Well, Brett, I think we've reached back to your destination. Great. Well, thank you so much. Guys. I appreciate you joining yeah, us. Absolutely. Fantastic insights. Good talk. Yeah. Yep. Take care, man. All right, man. Take it easy.